And the one thing is like the heart monitor. We'll get a heart monitor on it just to make sure we can figure out what causes stroke in the first place. How's she been for you guys? How's she been for y'all? Oh, she's been doing. Like as far as the appetite, the appetite is pretty good. Yeah, she's eating. Yeah, she eating, and she let you know when she's like okay. hungry when she do her mouth like that. She just kind of like move her head just a little bit. That's better than what it was. Yeah. There's something bothering her, something like that, like this thing here, this thing here, is like going on like that. Yeah. It's like it's, it's like it's irritating or something. What's going on with the pressure? We consulted the cardiology team. That's that's them. So they do hearts and blood pressure and all that. She's been on this cardine for a couple of days now. So when they messaged us earlier, we told them to call the cardiologist and get them to come by and see her so they can figure out what's going on with her blood pressure. And then now our thing is to figure out why this stroke happened in the first place. So they, she got the MRA and of the head and neck. I think I spoke to one of her family members the other day. It was not, um, they didn't give me much information and just like heavily motion. I think she was moving too much from the MRI machine to do the vessel imaging. So that's why I recommended look to get the CTA of the head and neck. It's like two minutes. It was a two minute procedure compared to like a 15, 20 minute scan. Just to make sure there's no narrowing in her arteries that could have caused the strokes. And then um, she had X-ray. She had X-ray today, didn't she? Uh, yeah, no. she oh no, she, she had wasn't no X-ray. X-ray. Oh, okay. She had an ultrasound. What about yeah. the swelling of her arm? Oh, ultrasound. Okay. That's I don't know why she's the PTOT needs to come work with her for the swelling. You said they lift up the arms a little bit to prevent any more swelling in the arms. And he mentioned but, something. Um, because she's not moving that arm that much. That's why they work with her, lift it up a little bit um, to reduce the swelling from that standpoint. Um, and then she'll need something called like a loop recorder to test for any irregular heart rhythms. Because uh, irregular heart rhythms can cause strokes, especially I think the type of stroke that she had as well. Um, and we'll go from there. We're trying to find, we're trying to, each, each lab we're trying to figure out what could be the cause of it. And we'll go from there, okay? And then, like my colleagues mentioned, uh, we're going to get cardiology to come talk to see her. So her blood pressure keeps on going up. Um, so we have to figure out what's the right medication for her blood pressure to help it go down to normal. So Do you have any questions for my end? Physical therapy, have they been in here? Because, um, see, I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'm getting frustrated. Yeah, but I'm getting frustrated. Mm-hmm. I think no. a big thing y'all could do because they only come once a day and it's not super helpful for someone who needs kind of constant yeah. it's not and that's why i'm getting frustrated so yeah. what needs to because happen is they need to show y'all some exercises or whoever is with her the majority of the time so can, so can y'all get somebody in here to show us what to do 
we can tell the nursing staff because our thing they've is been saying that. Yeah. And I've but been I've been wanting to take her out. To, I had been wanting to take her out and, and get her exercise. But the reason why she was moving around in the bed is because she was she, uncomfortable. She can't get out. She, she, she can't, can't, she she can't, can't get, get out, out of the bed, especially with her blood pressure being so high. She's not stable on her feet. Yeah. Um, and they have to check the blood pressure every 15 minutes. It's it's too yeah, high it's, and unsafe. It's, it's yeah. raising. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's rapidly <laughs> raising. I thought they was going to get out of the bed. They walk right there and then walk back to the bed. Yeah. What, what do you recommend? So one thing I recommend for like her arm, since she's having this to move her arm like this, and this it holds, put something in her hand, like a, like a ball type of thing, to help with the finger muscles as well. That's what we do at the hospital here that I work at. For anyone that's like the complete right, complete weakness on one side, we encourage family members to help move their arms up like this a little bit. Not like all the time, but just like a little bit, just to keep the muscles from getting too stiff. And then we put usually like a little squeeze ball in their hands. She don't have none of that. that helps them. She don't have none of that. None of that was presented to us. Like it's, it's what what is really going on? We don't have anything to even, she just been laying here, truth be told. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna recommend them just to at least do that. Give them the squeezy ball and then help them teach you guys what to do for the arms and the legs as well. Just to strengthen out the muscles to prevent any stiffness in her legs as well. And then, can we look at her foot too? Yeah. Just to make sure there's no foot problems too. Yeah, she's got the foot problems. Yeah, she's got foot problems. She able to move the right foot? Yeah, with a good bit of stimulation, she's moving it. Slightly. Okay. Yes, that's fine then. Still need for an ankle. And this isn't going to be comfortable for her, but it's important to keep this from getting like contracted and stuck. And it also just this amount of movement will help get that blood flowing and like blood in her feet and just. Yeah. Anything like that because it makes the veins do what they're supposed to do and push that blood back up to the heart. And they do have her feet elevated, which is important when she's not out of bed. And also, elevating this arm would help as well. So, these pillows that are just hanging out, put them under her arm. Sorry. Look like her, her arm is swelling. It is, yeah, and that's because it's not moving. So what we can do is keep. Because I noticed they've been putting on, kind of injecting her with a lot of the fluids and stuff, but the needles are swelling. Yeah, that's that's not, chances are that's, that's a clot. Yeah, no, there's no chances clot. are that's a clot. Because I've seen them do there's it. There's nothing that shows signs of a yeah, clot. Yeah, I've seen them do it. It's they've been injecting her with, a, with the needles and stuff. So keeping her arms kind of at the level of her heart or even higher will help with that mm -hmm. as well. I'm sorry. I know it's uncomfortable. And I'll message whoever the primary doctor is and I'll talk to them and see why they haven't been addressing this stuff with y'all. You know, like the little stress, you know, like little stress balls that they come, like the squishy balls? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we do stuff. So. I don't, it's just, I don't, I don't yeah, we don't, I don't believe that we even have that here, so. Oh, yes, okay. If, um, like a, if not, we can make one. Like, we can take gloves and use Okay, we can make one. Even gloves will help out a little bit. Like they can inflate the glove and then put it in her hand. Uh, they'll prevent her hands from become yeah. constricted like that. Yeah. So the only and thing that since y'all been going out, the only, I mean, since y'all been um, going with Gabrielle, the only thing she did mention that the, um, I guess this what Card Cardine mm -hmm. that she's taken is mm -hmm. um, the reason or could be the reason for her swelling. Oh yeah. Okay. Cause she's getting a but lot they of haven't blood. gotten a reading yet from the um, ultrasound to yeah. see whether or not the blood column was there. Yeah. So um, yeah. 
because I can see since I've been in here that it has swollen up a little bit more. Yeah, because yeah, they've been injecting her with all them different well, shots. Stuff. That the shot that they gave her today was okay, from, I was, um, I, I've watched. That doesn't affect a, mm. a clot. A clot would be in a vein or an artery. The insulin just goes right into the skin, like into mm -hmm. your fatty tissue. It's been swollen a couple well, of days. Yeah. 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 Why? Yeah. Why is it swollen? Because she's not moving. That's basically that, that, what it's all done. You know, that's why I said. She, she, you know, that's why I went, you know, trying to at it's least get her out of bed. It's not safe. Yeah. Her blood pressure's too high. <laughs> it's right, not right an option. Nope. Right it's, right. it's not an option right now. I don't mean to be they did ugly. It, they did it before. Yeah, but her blood pressure's been going up so quickly. We don't want to do no, anything. No, 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 no. I said right there. I understand, but even just moving her can make her blood pressure jump, and that can cause That's the. Right. No, it's not actually. It can make the stroke either grow or cause another one with her bl that. blood pressure being that high. Mm -hmm. Okay. What, why are you shaking your head? I don't. You I don't. don't I don't trust medical science. <sighs> What's that? I don't trust everything that I hear. I do. I like to do research. I don't. No, okay. a lot of um, things. I don't know some. I'm, I'm not going to. That's fine. You can do your, you can do your Google research. Uh, I don't, yeah. I don't yeah. accept yeah. things but like that. I've been doing this for 10 years. I'm a neurofractal care doctor. I do this every single day. So you don't have to listen to what I'm saying. People, that's fine. And you got people who have book knowledge and, and dumb as That's fine. That's okay. fine. You don't have to listen to what I'm saying. I don't want to hear no more. Your family member. All right? I don't want to hear no more. I'm talking to her. She's the one I've been talking with. I want to help her. There's no need to flick me off either. So, just don't take part of it. Yeah. She's not going to get better by, by arguing. I know. I know. Like, I just don't want them to be upset. I hope not. It's a stressful time. Everyone's trying to help her out. I know some things, so um, every team's member is trying to work her out. For me, I'm working for the brain, and I understand you listening to us. I'm, I know, but I'm hearing I don't want to she her just hearing concerns. She, it's like she, she's gotten worse. She hasn't progressed. And it's like yeah. at some point, it's, 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 it's getting impatient. We have been patient. Yeah. We, have been, yeah. we have been waiting. We have been patient. But she's getting yeah. worse. And it's like, well, well, at this point, the frustration has to be displayed. Yeah, that makes sense. I agree with you for that standpoint. So that's why I really want like physical therapy to see her. Like they should tell you what exercises to give her since she's in, since she's in bed, she can't walk her muscle to become weaker. So there's one thing I want to recommend in my note is for them to talk with physical therapy, give you guys exercises to do Give her this balls to put in her hands, or at least her hands are strong. Um, we want cardiology to come by and see her to help lower the blood pressure, have a better control of the blood pressure, so she doesn't need the IVs that much. Reduce reduction of IVs will reduce the swelling in her hands. And the main thing is, that she, and that's basically what we do, okay? Okay. And then we'll get this PA at the head and neck because I want to look at the vessels in the brain to make sure. But uh, I want them to control the blood pressure first, and then we'll go from there, okay? Thank you. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a, it's a, I understand. It's like it's easier to say things, but you're actually living it. So um, if you ever need anything from my standpoint, I can help you guys out from that standpoint. Like for me, advocating for them to Please. get more physical therapy. I would really, really appreciate that. I'm going to make some calls. Yes, I'm, it's harder for him. He's not here, right. but I am. And I can make calls or I can go to wherever it is. They, they're set up in the hospital and right. talk to their boss. I just, we, 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 no progression. Yeah, we don't, we're not in here all day with y'all, so we can't see. But it's just we like, want to, We want her to get better as much as y'all do. She just blame. Yeah. Just, everything is limited. Yeah. And like, it's like, what, what do we have to do at this point? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. it. I totally understand. It should get worse. The blood pressure was under control yesterday. Yeah, she was. And then now she, she is getting worse. Let us 
let us have a few conversations and thank you. I'll get back with you. Thank I'll you so be much. here. Thank and you. if you need anything, just tell them yes. to call April because okay. I have a phone with me at all times. So. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anytime We're trying. We, we are going to try. And I, I know I understand you're upset because I would be acting a fool over my, not my mom because she's cuckoo, but my dad for sure. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just pissed off being the rest of the stuff. But I know mom, she would be able to say. Hey, did you have you know what? I'm gonna tell you something. I recorded I recorded every single video. They didn't know I was doing it, but I recorded them all. Squeeze my hand, Mama. Squeeze my hand. They've been sticking Mama with the meat. That they have to do it. They have to do it. You squeeze my hand. You have to do it. I recorded it. Squeeze my hand. Don't make me look feel like I don't know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Squeeze my hand, Mama. I tell you what, I might be a little dumb, but ain't that damn dumb. Ain't that stupid? People want to make me seem like. I'm crazy. When I get mad, I get crazy. People say, that's crazy, motherfucker. But you damn right, I'm crazy. When you fuck with my family a certain way, I don't give a damn who the fuck you do. I do all my love. I ain't stuck in the damn post. I get mad, stuck in the damn post. I stick You can feel it. I hope every so-called white person get me eradicated off this fucking planet. And if they kill any one of my people, I'm gonna murder this motherfucker and get me a gun and murder this fucking man. I don't play. Murder man. Fuck the motherfuckers. And whoever else gonna be an asshole on the tongue, fuck this motherfucking ass. No white motherfucker, no end. I hate the, I hate the white man with fucking passion. Any other times, I don't like them motherfuckers either. And if they sit up here and defend for the white man, I'm clear. The pressure going on. Uh, <sighs> So since y'all, she's been here, and what have they been telling y'all? 
because the, the physical services came in here and did absolutely nothing to try to give us some juice. Today? Yeah, but I mean, she didn't do anything. Did nothing, 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 nothing. Really and truly, there's nothing you could do other than, you know, really and truly, you know, because she's not doing anything, she's not really responding. Um, but the reason why her, because her arm swelling, swollen, has swollen a little more since I've been here. And it's hard not, and he, and, um, huh? Her, yeah, pressure's going down a little bit. Yeah, I've kind of been checking that. But, um, yeah, it's gone up since we, y'all been here, honestly, because it was 94. And she hadn't slept yet. She hadn't even taken a little few rest. And really, and truly, she really hadn't been eating that much. Mm-hmm. That's not a lot. What you told her when they asked you, you said, yeah, but I didn't want to intervene, but she oh, really no. hasn't eaten. Oh, my bad. She yeah. hasn't eaten. Oh, my bad. Mm-hmm. No, she hasn't eaten. Look at the food. But yeah, I'm still there. And then you say she didn't eat breakfast this morning. She didn't. She didn't eat breakfast. Mama said she didn't want to eat the same thing all the time. Well, we understand that she had to eat something. And then in order for her to get off the cardine, she has to be able to have her take her, you know, drink herself and eat herself. I get you. I mean, you don't understand anybody get a tag about their family members and stuff. I mean, that's, that's you know, it's only natural. Mm-hmm. She just here, just here, and nothing, nothing, nothing. I just like, I ain't gonna get that messy up to say. You can feel it. Can you feel it? She was moving this hill earlier. I saw the point where the plane came and then went back to the ticket. I took my time to go around this point. Yep, see, she, yeah, see, she said that she's been doing that. Yeah. You want to raise up a little bit more, Miss Martha? Yep, that's what she wants. She do that. That means she want to get raised up. And she fighting. Do it. That's what that is. Hmm. She's fighting. Yeah. Yeah. She's fighting. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-h
Bible would have went off the chain too. He was a guy that was in He was living. Squeeze it, squeeze my hand. 